Shalom, Chavarim. I'm Steve Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Boy, we got some mess going on, guys. Uh, right now, you're looking on your screen here. This here is just a little short clip of a video footage. It's being, uh, it's being looped over and over and over. But as far as the eye can see, uh, these are people from Honduras that are being given passage through Mexico uh, coming up to the U.S. border. Now, what was interesting is that uh, in one particular clip, a uh, Fox News commentator that was down there said that the majority of the uh, migrants that are coming up are male. And it is strongly reminiscent of what happened in uh, Europe. In, uh, and, of course, the situation in Europe is still far from being uh, contained. And what will actually happen out of that as a result? Uh, it seems to me to be a destabiliz destabilization uh, plan uh, to totally bring down the United States as they're trying to destroy Western Europe. Uh, you don't see it as much in Eastern Europe because you, Eastern Europe has already been under communism once before. So there's still that mentality of communism in Eastern Europe. Uh, the people can still adjust to a socialistic uh, uh, lifestyle. But Western Europe is more democratic, just as the United States is. And so to crush that, one easy way is to bring in the refugees, especially male, mostly male refugees. There are some families, but not a lot. And uh, they're saying, of course, that uh, their pay is $5 a day. And, of course, in America, you can make that in uh, one hour uh, and, you know, as, as illegal labor. And uh, if you're being paid normally, you would make uh, that in about 30 to 45 minutes. So they're definitely coming for a better way of life. They're walking. They're willing to walk. Where they're going to end up, Texas, Mexico, or excuse me, uh, not Mexico, but uh, California, Arizona, New Mexico, who knows? Um but it's coming, and I don't think it's going to be a good thing either. Uh, not a lot of families to have to separate in this case here, and I hope they don't separate families regardless of what happens there because that is just a disaster. Uh, also, Russia, you know, President Putin had made the statement the other day that, uh, that, the, that Russians would be martyrs going to heaven because Russia would not do a first strike, but if they were struck, they would retaliate and the way Putin put it over there at the meeting in Sochi was that uh, the United States would have no time to repent after the retaliation of Russia. That kind of lets me know that Russia must be anticipating some type of strike on their country in the near future uh, for Putin to be talking in this way here. Now, the U.S. is leaving the INF, uh, according to President Trump, uh, will put nuclear nonproliferation at risk and may lead uh, com to complete chaos, is what Moscow is saying. Uh, from what's happening there. Uh, the entire world is becoming very, very chaotic. Uh, today I did the video on Hebrew Nation Radio with Bonnie Harvey on Flashpoint, our radio broadcast there. And uh, it's interesting, she contacted me. She said the last half of the broadcast was removed. Uh, and the IT, uh, the IT guy said he had never seen anything like it in all the years of the broadcasting there on Hebrew Nation Radio for them to actually hack the system and remove half of the broadcast. Now, the subject we got into on the broadcast, though, uh, was about the Crimean uh, attack on the college there, the Kerch, um, uh, the Kerch shooting there. And I was speaking about, um, uh, speaking about the situation there at the, at the college. And the one thing that came to my own mind was that uh, I had spoke about how that could this be a, another case of like Tunisia or in the case of the Washington Mall, the uh, woman that ran the right White House gate there, as I've shared before in times past. Um, and and I'll, I'm going to be a little bit careful here in the way I use the terminology here because we feel like that the terminology is what flagged it and they, they removed the video. Uh, but I was talking about a certain type of technology that the U.S. military uses where they can control the mind and project thoughts into the mind. And I had been shared some inside information 
with uh, certain individuals there near the Capitol, I'll say it that way as well, uh, that told me uh, that allegedly the government uh, was that used this technology to carry out these other cases there, Tunisia, uh, Washington Mall, etc. And then, of course, we had spoken ourselves um, with the, uh, uh, let me just pull that up, that article there real quick, School Shooting Crimea. Uh, we had spoke to the, one of the survivors uh, in the Sunshine State. Let me just put it like that. Um, and, uh, and when we did, the ones, one of the survivors there, he was a little bit hesitant to want to come on because he said that there was, he was under a lot of pressure and uh, this was causing him a lot of uh, problems in speaking out about what really went on. But he did, he did let us know, though, that there were uh, more, there was believed to be more than one um, gunman uh, in the case of the Sunshine State there. And as a result of that, uh, one thing that really caught my attention on that was is that uh, as you look at all the different videos that were coming out about it, uh, that in the case of the Sunshine State there, if the, you know, the one teacher spoke about it being a man that was doing the shooting was dressed a lot like a law enforcement and uh, full body armor, mask, Face, face, face mask, everything. Couldn't identify, there wasn't no way to identify him. Uh, a lot of things were really suspicious about this. Even in this young man's interrogation, he made the statement that he heard voices in his head. Well, that brought up the technology that we've spoken about before. And, uh, and then, of course, I could not help but wonder, could it be a situation in Crimea at the college there, this 18-year-old student there that took the lives of 20 people and also used a bomb, uh, could that type of technology have been used as well? Now, that's a far fetch, but it's something to think about because why are we having all these situations like this? Why is all this happening all over the world now? I mean, are kids really losing it that bad? Or is there something more sinister in the works? I'm Stephen Benoom with Israeli News Live. Um, think about it. By the way, we will be making our comments and live uh, broadcasts a little different because we are under an all-out assault. And uh, we see this. We see things that are happening. And so we will be doing, we will be making some changes on there. I do want to thank our moderators that have been very helpful for us in that respect there. Uh, we may return to the live uh, interaction in the near future, but uh, at this point here, we're getting very close to uh, speaking about information that's going to be very, very risky. And so therefore, we need to um, keep a close tab on what's being brought out because of the attacks against us. Uh, all types of false accusations will be made. I know that. I'm expecting that. Everything you can think of uh, to try to demean the character of who, who we are here will be attacked uh, because they're going to try to find anything and everything they possibly can, even if they have to fabricate information uh, to make it look like that we're the bad guys because the more we hit those uh, sensitive spots that reveal who they really are, the more they will come back at us. I'm Stephen Benoom with Israeli News Live, Erev Tov.